What is a potluck? I asked my wife. This email says potluck for dinner. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like a duck cooked in a pot. I don't know what this family eats. I will Google it. A meal or party to which each of the guests contributes a dish. Oh, I got it. So we need to bring in something for the dinner. That's good. And it was for our first area meeting. We were new church planters, immigrants coming from Mexico to plant a church in the U.S. And it was our first experience with uh, pastors and church planters and it was a beautiful experience. I dearly remember those meetings. Many different American dishes and desserts, and of course, a Mexican dish to bring in some heat for the dinner. From flour tortillas or tamales, uh, we always brought something from our own so everybody could taste. That group had not only people from California, but also uh, from uh, Colorado, Ohio, Mississippi, and Texas. So they were good potlucks. The weirdest for me were from the South, brought by our friends from Mississippi. I loved them, but they were kind of weird dishes. Dinner, worship, then listening to each other, and prayer were part of those beautiful meetings that we that were so encouraging for a church planter like me. We drove two hours each side just to be there and feel God's love through a diverse group of men and women. Different backgrounds, different ages, ministering in different cities, but same Jesus to serve and same Holy Spirit to invite invite into our conversations and into our places of ministry. I experienced diversity in our movement since the very first time. More than 10 years after that experience, I can say that we have grown a lot. And I also can say that I always have been welcomed uh, by the Vineyard family. Let's talk about Peter, the Apostle. Uh, in this story, it was lunchtime, and he was praying. Acts chapter 10, verse 10 to 15 says, He became hungry and wanted something to eat. And while the meal was being prepared, he fell into a trance. He saw heaven opened, and something like a large sheet being let down to air by its four corners. It contained all kinds of four-footed animals, as well as reptiles and birds. Then a voice told him, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. Surely not, Peter replied. I have never eaten anything impure or unclean. The voice spoke to him a second time. Do not call anything impure that God has made clean. So here's a hungry Peter praying, and that's a dangerous combination. But he was very vineyard. You know, he got a picture from heaven. And more than just a picture, it was an HD video image that showed him all kinds of animals. Cow, sheep, chicken, pig, uh, coming from heaven. And then he hears God, get up, Peter kill and eat. He reacts with his religious posture. No way, Lord. That is not holy. You know what? Religiosity prevents diversity. Do not call anything impure that God has made clean, answered the Lord. Now I think, can we ask God what he has made clean? Is there anything from a person or a church or a nation that we say it's impure, but God has made it clean? I don't know. What I know is that we all love food. Our food is part of our 
own personal, family, and sometimes even national history. For example, our own corn tortilla has been made in Mexico uh, for 2,500 years. It is part of our history. In every home, we grew up eating them. Bringing food uh, to a table is bringing what we love and who we are. That is very important. And that's the reason why the Holy Spirit talked to Peter to let him know that the gospel must be shared to the Gentiles, the people different that, than him. Being part of a vineyard is bringing to our conversations and to our relationships who we are what we think and what we love. It's not fighting which one is the best or trying to promote us, but to appreciate everyone's flavor. I can, I can brag about dozens of meals that I have had over the years with many of you, many at restaurants, but also at different homes. I have tasted delicious dinners cooked in, in the oven but the best thing that I remember of each one of them is every person. I love the privilege of sharing time, listening what God is doing, or sharing my fears and failures with a cup of coffee by, by my side. We are so different, but sharing a meal brings us closer. Diversity in the kingdom is not a buffet where a big organization called church has so many different dishes so you can consume what you like. In that setting, you just pay and eat what you want, but nobody really knows you. Diversity in the kingdom is not a food market where you bring what you produce and sell it for the best price. In that setting, you bring only what you can sell for a personal profit. Diversity in the kingdom of God is like a potluck. You bring what you love and share it freely. And at the same time, you are able to taste from everyone's dishes for free. So you can appreciate and let them know how good they are. Diversity is spelled P-O-T-L-U-C-K. So, bring your own dish. <laughs>